Pokemon Stadium 2 for the Nintendo 64. I figured for N64 games that are already on the Switch, I'll just use that instead. Instead of the actual N64. Besides, I'm not going to be playing this all the way through anyway. Let's just try out as many modes as I can. Obviously, we'll go into the main mode. Uh, Gym Leader Castle is over there. Your mini games are there. Free battle. Hey, kitty! Subscribe for 10 Time months. for absolute fun and happiness. There will be fun and happiness. Thank you so much. GB Tower. Just to rub it in your face that you can't use it here. I don't even have a transfer pack either, so it doesn't even matter for how I, I play it. My Room. Pokemon Lab. Uh, I guess we'll try out the first bit of Gym Leader Castle first. Obviously, we can only use rental Pokemon. Well, if we're going against Faulkner, you have to, like, deal with, uh, flying types. Oh, hey there, Phantom. Good to see you. Um... I kind of want to use... Electabuzz. Do I want to use Gengar? I guess we can try Gengar. Uh... Do I want Golem? Well, he's got Rock Throw. Yeah, we'll take Golem. Uh... Hypno. Oh, hey there, Dino. Good to see you, too. I like the stadium. The stadium that I did more after P PS2. I know, right? Battle Revolution does not count. Oh, Needle King has Thunder. Well, that's really all it's gonna have. It's good. Oh, I should probably take an Ice-type. I mean, you don't really get a lot of ice types to work with. Even now. Uh, Deli Bird does have double team and blizzard. Okay, one more. What's gonna be a good one to use? Ha, huh, Articuno! I don't know, that just seems kind of cheesy. Uh, Zap Cannon's just too risky to use. I kind of like the idea of using Aerodactyl. Let's go with Aerodactyl. Have you ever dreamed of flying? Many times. Alright, Electabuzz, Golem, and I'm thinking Aerodactyl. We bring you this battle live from the Gym Leader Castle. Will the challenger be able to I kinda like that they didn't bother to go. You have to face three trainers, then the gym leader every time. I guess they want to streamline the uh, Gym Leader Castle better than what they did in Stadium 1. Let's see how you like this. It used agility to raise its agility. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, you you just wasted a turn. It's still not going to attack. Well, you're definitely not gonna attack now. I just swifted you. That's it. Oh, oh, knockout. 
Oh, you beat Chuck in this? Oh, good for you. I haven't really... I haven't really played Stadium 2 outside of, you know, multiplayer. <laughs> You're just gonna go with Pidgey! You must write original Japanese name for the game, or can I write translated name? Why, why would it... Why do you have to? Why, is that, why would that be important? I mean, if you want to do it, do it. I don't know what you need to ask me. Well, what other choice did you have? It's all flying types. The announcer is like, Oh, no, did you choose the wrong type? Not to us. <laughs> Think I might need two Thunder Punches. Or not. You raised your Pokemon bet? No, I didn't. I didn't raise them. Whoever is running the castle trained them better. Okay. Electabuzz again. I think we'll go with Aerodactyl next. I'm thinking Gengar this time. The first gym leader is Faulkner, the flying type Pokemon user from Violet Gym. What strategy will the challenger employ against him? Hmm. Okay, light screen is kind of useless since flying type is physical based. Uh oh, they have mud slap. Don't miss. What did I tell you to do? Okay, you're probably gonna use mud slap again. I'm gonna switch to Aerodactyl. Make it useless. Oh, it's Aerodactyl! How's that? That caused no damage at all. What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? I think I should be faster too. There's the attack! That struck home! Vicious attack! Oh, good for you. The heated action continues. Imagine how bad that would have been if Fero got the stat buff and I didn't. A powerful blow. Oh, oh, knockout. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. Oh, it's Pidgeot. <laughs> Pidgeot? Come on, step off, step off. Um, wait, flying does hit ghosts, so let's not do that. Uh, as much as I like to use Curse, it would slow me down. But it will help out a little bit. You know what? I'm going to use Curse. Oh, it's gonna use fly again. Oh, 
Okay, I only have one more ancient power. I knew on what? <laughs> There goes Pidgeot. What do you got next? Just one Pokemon remains. Oh, it's Noctowl. Noctowl. Down to the last Pokemon now. A hot battle is unfolding. Guess all I got left is Bite to use. What next? Uh oh. Give me a crit. Oh wow, that's even with curse too. Well, I'm definitely not winning this exchange. Let me see if I can hit a supersonic before I go. Oh, it worked. Oh right, yeah, bite was special. You're you're correct. They didn't have the uh, special split until four. I forgot. Hit yourself, please. That that's not hitting yourself. Oh, come on! Yeah, Faulkner really likes Mud Slap, huh? See ya! Yeah, yeah. Bogner's like, oh man, I can't believe I lost, even though I didn't spread out my type coverage. Oh, hey, Shinloki, good to see you. I know we got Bugsy next. I'm actually gonna skip that for now, and we'll try out a uh, Stadium Cup. Okay, there's Poke Cup, Prime Cup, I know Challenge Cup exists. And there's Little Cup! You know what, just for fun's sake, let, let's try Little Cup. Okay, start off with Diglett. I like Diglett. Remember, they all have to be level 5. Togepi would just be weird. Well, its defense is good, so I kinda feel comfortable taking it. Okay, I, I like Vulpix just for Confuse Ray alone and Attract. Oh, Star You. I got room for two more. I was doing a speed run on Super Mario All Stars, good for him. Don't know why I need to know that during my own stream. Uh, Dratini? No, I don't want Dratini. Don't want Drowsy? It's got Hypnosis and Dream Eater, so I should take that. Uh, 
And Bulbasaur. Ah, I don't have electric coverage. Well, I can't cover everything. He looks so happy to be here. Look at him. Well, I'd be frowning too. My name is Bernie. <laughs> hmm. I guess there's no shame in starting with Drowsy. And then... Bulbasaur. And... I guess we'll try Togepi. We are ready to roll! Pokemon Tournament Little Cup! The combatants are all still young Pokemon with little experience. Let's see what these Pokemon are capable of doing in battle. Oh, you made a big mistake there, kid. If only you knew that I was about to cause your demise. Alright, I'm gonna lean hard on Hypnosis Dream Eater Strat. Uh -oh, it fell asleep. Am I excited for the upcoming hockey season? Um, I wouldn't say excited, but I'll probably watch some this games. Oh, you dick. Up. What about everyone else here? I'm gonna just like, what are you doing? Alright, fine, I'll put you to sleep as well. Oh shit. A hot battle is unfolding. The trainer switching Pokemon. Oh, it's I mean, at least a baseball is keeping me preoccupied. The uh, Los Angeles was you know, ripped asunder. Alright, I think I'll actually have to start attacking. Okay, might go bring in Mankey again. Oh, it's a still asleep! So I need to take it out before it wakes up and gets ready for Fire Punch. Remember, in this gen, I think that's when it wakes up and it, and it can do an attack on the same turn. It's not like Gen 1, where if you wake up, that's your turn. Stay asleep. Oh! Oh, I got the RNG on my side. That's what I'm talking about. What else did you bring? Oh, it's Sunkern. Sunkern? The white hot battle continues. Uh, I guess I'll use cut. You know, just keep spamming growth. Uh oh! It has sunny day. Oh, you're gonna go for a turn one solar beam, aren't you? Wait. 
I don't know if Sleep Powder can work, because it's a grass move on a grass Pokemon. I'm just going to have to lean on a cut getting a crit for me. <gasps> yep, you're a dumbass. You're going to burn your uh, sunny day and not even try to solar beam me. You threw away your chance. What did you think was going to happen? You couldn't do any damage on me. Oh, it could have? Hmm. Well, I guess to be fair, it didn't have a guaranteed chance of working. Okay, you seem a little happier. Flying in normal types. Uh, let's go with Vulpix, Staryu, and... I'm gonna go with Drowsy. I don't want to use Bulbasaur because it does that Pidgey. Starting things off with Snowball, huh? Combat and face each other. A flash of confused red. It's become confused. There's the shot. A vicious hit. Jesus. That was one hit, too. Alright, I better, better bring in a Pokemon with better defense. The trainer switching Pokemon. Oh, it's drowsy! Aha! It's confused no more! Wait! What now? How'd you know I was gonna switch to a psychic type? I think this game might be cheating. Oh, that's a bad miss. Okay, this is where things are gonna go wrong. Alright, give you a good soaking. I think one more bubble beam should do it. There we go. Well, I'm not going to continue, but we can still win. If bubble beam carries me all the way. just somehow has a, always has a move that can work super effective against me. Just because. The Pokemon appears with a cross. This 
is the last Pokemon. One Pokemon faces two. Oh, they're all females too, so I can't use attract. Okay. How that? It's become confused. What that? That's it. Damn. Okay, I got another chance. It had a Meowth next, too. One problem I have with the gym challenges again is the AI can and will throw curveballs use type advantages against you. Well, I'm using type advantages against it, too, so it's fair game. A bit annoying that it just somehow had the exact move to beat me. As if the game thinks, oh, he's definitely gonna bring a water type. Oh, no, no, wait, I gotta start over. I made a mistake, I didn't want to bring Togepi. Alright, let's try a different team. I'm gonna start with Staryu this time. gonna have bite for sure and there's no way I'm gonna take it out on the first shot so oh not using bite that's why I light screen ready I thought I was gonna go for bite if it had it You're getting your butt whooped on Jasmine? Well, then it means you're gonna have to try a different team. Where was that crit the last battle? I think how Meowth does a Naruto run just to headbutt me. I wanted to use Diglett, but it's gonna be too frail. Alright, I'm gonna roll the dice. Because if it... Oh, I got flinched! Look, look, look at what? Why would I want to look at that? Why do I want to look at my Bulbasaur not getting to use a move against you? Steel type's a special, lower special defense, so fire type be a good move. Yeah, unless it has Earthquake. You gotta worry about that, too. Uh, maybe Fire Flying. Oh, you again. Critical hit! Oh, wow, you survived that. That missed somehow. Razor Leaf is 95 accuracy, is it? Because, man, this is what it's like with these Pokemon games. If it's not 100, it's 50. Treat it as if it's 50, if it's not 100. I'm gonna go with Slash. I don't know what Diglett is slashing with, it has no arms. Has a 
only one Pokémon left for battle. The Pokémon emerges from its Pokéball. It's down to the last Pokémon now. It's just one-on-one -on -one now. All right, Magnitude. Give me ten. Vicious attack. Hit! That was good. It's fast asleep and can't be moved. The heated action continues. Ah, it can't move. Hold on. Ten. I mean, a turn late, but thanks, I guess. Okay, at least I won. Hell, even in Gen 1, a a moves with 100 accuracy don't exactly have 100 accuracy. Because of the 1 and 256 glitch. He's like, why am I here? Eh, he's right about one thing. He doesn't look like much. Look at all the type coverage he's got. Grass, water, fire, ground, water again with some electric, and grass again with poison. Okay, I'm gonna go with Drowsy. Staryu works against two of them. I'm gonna go with Togepi as my wild card. I want my last credit anyway, so... I gotta go ride the lightning mode. I'm gonna go with Headbutt. Uh-oh, now I'm confused. Oh, for fuck's sake! So out of all the times I confuse the opponent, never hits itself, I get confused once, hit myself right away. And twice! The game decided, you know what? We're just gonna screw you over on RNG for confusion. Well, that was stupid. Togepi looks like I never had sleep in weeks. I could go with Charm. Nah, I think Metronome just to get wild. There's the attack. Oh, its confusion made it tougher. Lick. The hit glanced right off. Oh, well, Lick was physical. Hang in there. Break the confusion. Oh, it's lit. oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's a What's this? It's a weak spot. Ha ha ha, weak spot. Ha <laughs> ha, shut up. Let's see here. It's down to the last Pokemon now. Bubble Beam is kind of useless, and honestly, Light Screen kind of is too. I gotta go with Swift.
What's next? Oh, its confusion made it tougher. A hot battle is unfolding. There's the attack. That was a glancing blow. That's still awful damage, though. appears to have worn off. The heated action continues. You know, fuck you, I'll take myself out. I'm not giving you the glory. Oh, just use all the Johto starters. Yeah, I'm not re-entering. Hell with that. What is Pokemon Academy? I don't think I've ever checked that out. Oh, Classroom? I guess I can try Classroom. No, let's just go straight to test. I'm not even gonna study. You must score 8 out of 10 to pass. Here's the question. They're shaped like Ditto. Psychic may lower which stat? Special defense. Which move's power will be multiplied by 1.5 if it is used by Kingdra? Dragon Breath. What does the item Burnt Berry do? Oz Ice. Reflect lasts for how many turns? Twelve turns?! I <laughs> think zero was an option! It inflicts damage every time the opponent switches. What move is this? Spikes. Which stat goes down for this condition? Burn. Attack does. In the stadium, how many Pokémon do you register for entry? Six. If a Pokemon learns moves by leveling up, what happens to the way it learns moves after it evolves? It slows down. Which move can normally heal half the maximum HP? Moonlight. Can a Deli Bird be easily frozen by Ice Beam? No. You're just gonna announce my score in front of the whole class. Okay, you gotta do all this too? I'm <laughs> nerd. Hey, listen. I at least understand, like, some of the mechanics. The problem is applying them in battle. Hey there, Bragg. We'll do minigame mode. Oh, there's another quiz? Oh, this is for multiplayer quiz. I'm gonna try one player quiz, and then we'll do, like, minigame champion mode. Oh, what is hard? What are the hard questions? I kinda wanna see. Try to beat the record for the most correct answers in 100 seconds. You'll lose 10 seconds for each incorrect answer. Where can you find Santos of the weak siblings? What? Not Brute 29. The Elm Pokemon Lab is located in which city? Newbark Town. If Staryu icons line up on a slot machine, how many coins can you get? Fifteen, that was a guess. The Cerulean Gym Leader is Misty. 
Who is the Fuchsia City leader? Janine. Which Pokemon is always holding a leftovers when caught? Snorlax. Which Pokemon is depicted on the sliding panels in the ruins of Alf? Um, Aerodactyl, I would say. If you come in number one in the bug catching contest, which of these do you win? Sunstone. Which of the following moves can be learned using HMO1? That's cut. Pink apricorn is used to make which ball? Um, love ball. Love ball. How many tails does Tauros have? Three? Venomoth is which type of Pokemon? That one's too easy. Which of the following Pokemon is... Oh, come on! That's racist! This is the cry of which Pokemon? Um... Oh, it was Caterpie, wasn't it? Well, I got the highest score! For 11 points. The first one is 5. Uh, go with normal calm. Um, what do I want to start with? Let's go with Gutsy Golbat first. Get that out of the way. Tap the A button repeatedly to go up. Use a control stick to move from side to side. The one with the most hearts wins. Your hearts will scatter if you hit a Magnemite or get har hit hard by an opponent. I can't say I like this one, and it has nothing to do with me being a gold bat. Something about this just feels kind of off. Gets a little too chaotic. Oh no! Oh wait, I, I think I just jumped ahead! Uh, Topsy-Turvy next. Use a control stick to strike the opponent. Knock your opponent out of the ring five times to win. A button to use rapid spin, use this move to knock your opponent out of the ring. I like how they have different names. Oh, I almost knocked myself out. What is Red doing? Oh, damn, I got knocked out. Oh, shit. Oh, I just barely won. Red was making a comeback. If you had an expansion pack, neither a gold, silver... Yeah, I know about that. The GB Tower... The issue is, I mean, uh, I don't have one in real life. Oh, clear cut challenge is quite fun. Oh, 
Oh, I guess, like, not outside of GB Tower, you use your own Pokemon in these two? <laughs> so you can have, like, Piss Face on there. That would've been funny. Press the A button to cut falling logs at the white line. Okay, so this is a matter of reaction. But why the hell is that a minus one for me? That was still very close. That one was right on the line. Ooh, three-way tie. We're almost done. What the hell? Hang on. I got a call. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Turns out mom and dad left left a bag of dirty clothes here. Like, they forgot to take it with them. Oh, that's minus one to me again? Oh, might as well just cut early then. The minus ten for player two, Jesus. Furret's Frolic. Press the control pad to move into the grass. Release it to move back to the center. Press the A button to shoot the ball forward. Get the most points to win. That just sounds so weird. I have to try to get it into my score. Oh, I gotta get all the great balls in there. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I'm slowly getting it. Oh, son of a bitch. No, 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 wait. Oh, it was too late. I actually lost one. Alright, let's try Barrier Ball. Control stick to move and hit the ball back. Press the A button to hit a smash. Burn a point for getting the ball in an opponent's court and lose a point when scored on.
Okay, I got at least one point. Ah, oh, and I lost it immediately. Can't lose points if I'm already at zero, alright? That's how it works. Ah, oh, shit. It's usually green that scores on me. See? Yeah, I don't like this one. This one's kind of annoying. Pichu's Power Plant. When an electrode pops out, press and hold the control pad in the same direction. If the lamp is blue, repeatedly tap the A button. If the lamp is green, tap the B button. What did you miss? You only a handful of mini games, and I did some quizzes that went well. You can always just check the VOD afterwards. Oh, I don't like button mashing games at all. No, don't. Oh, I have to use the stick. I was using the pad. Well, I still won. Rampage rollout. I guess we're gonna try every game at least once and then we'll call it here. Use the control pad to run around the track. The first to complete nine laps wins. Press the A button to leave a dust cloud. You can earn and save up to three dust clouds per lap, depending on your rank. Okay. Well, I guess all of us are trying to hug the inner part of it. the dust cloud and you still ran into it. I'm not earning any, any dust clouds because I'm in first. Well, that's probably going to change now. Oh, I still didn't get any. Uh-oh. I got second. Streaming Stampede! <laughs> Press the A button and count the Pokémon visiting the studio. There are five questions. Even if you don't get the right answer, you can still earn points for getting close. Oh, this is a counting one. Count the Pikachus. It was eight. Yeah, yeah. Doug Trio. Seven. Oh, this is tight. Pikachu and Ammonite. Magnemite.
There was only two. Forty point. Oh god, all of them. That first bit really messed me up. What was the final answer? 22. Yeah, yeah. I was close. Alright, we got four more games to play. So let's try Tumbling Togepi. Run downward using the control stick to avoid flowers, boulders, and logs. Step on an arrow to speed up. You can jump over logs, but you will slow down. Oh, but there's no jump button. It just does it automatically. Oh shit, now we got other Pokemon running interference. We're third place? Okay, that one was rough. Delibird's delivery. Starts delivering drugs. <laughs> Fill the sack up with up to five gifts using the controls stick and carry it to the top. Highest score wins. Earn extra points for picking up the same items in a row. So we got Birdie it! Birdios! Delbont! Dolian! <laughs> they just use like Chad GPT to pick the names. Oh, the swine knobs are causing some problems. I know families would rather an N64. You know, just keep little Timmy busy while Hubby proposes to his mistress. Wait, what? I meant wife. How many points did that get me? So I tried to go for the rings as much as I can. Holy shit. Ross and sugar cookies I have. They're alright. But most of the time, they're not really that special, because it's just frosted sugar cookies. Egg emergency! Catch the falling eggs. Use the LR buttons to move from side to side. Avoid the Voltorb or you lose some of your eggs. Hanster! Anstly! Genesit! Station! It's got tiny arms, like a T-Rex. But did one of them hit a Voltorb right away? It's the first one. Oh, missed an egg. Oh, there's a rhythm to it all. That water is gonna stink with all the eggs in it. Especially if they start to leak.
Hope you love the smell of sulfur in your water. Ah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Alright, last game. Look at the neutral face on Eevee. He looks like he ate a bee, but doesn't want to tell anyone. He's like, mm, don't worry about it, it's just one bee. Eager Eevee. When Apom opens the lid, dash to the fruit with the A button. Press the B button to make a dash. Or fake a dash! The race is run five times. But don't get the Pine Co. So it's Vion, Ebony, Evote, Evor. I guess faking is usually fun against human players. Strawberries from me. Oh, that was a tie. Oh, there has to be at least one Pine Co. in this. Oh, that's gonna fool me up. Twenty-four strawberries! <laughs> Holy shit! 4,400 points. I left you all in the dust. Okay, at least I got in an hour's worth of Pokemon Stadium 2, so I think that was a good time. Uh, let me go ahead and, uh, get that <laughs> shut down. <laughs>